Hello guys, welcome to another fishing adventure. This time we're doing a 48 hour up at uh, Hartley's, Hartley Lounge Fishing Lakes in Cranbrook. Um, I'm fishing Peg 16 on Nick's Lake. Um, yeah, first impression, it's quite a nice lake, never been here before. Very nice. Uh, yeah, so I just chucked a couple of solid bags out. It's got two rods out at the moment. Let me show you. Yeah, two rods out at the moment. So he's got my PVA bags, which I'm using. There we go, a couple of pre-tied made up. A bit of smart liquid. 48 hours at my disposal, so hopefully nick a fish or two. But right now I've set up camp because there's an absolute tip around here. So, uh, yeah, but the rods are out, that's the main thing. Let's get set up and I'll uh, give you an update later. Camp all set. Right guys, what I'm doing is an outlet pipe here, which is on the left hand margin of my swing. I'm doing just putting a few little bits and pieces just sort of out over there to go down quite go down quite deep there so I'm putting we've put a rod out there just put a bit of bait out there. I might leave it for tonight put one out tomorrow yeah that's one of my rods and the other rod I've got about a rod length off that island so uh, yeah hopefully one to go I'm, I might Put one over here tonight. I don't know. I'll see how it goes. Um, yeah, let's see how we get on. We're fishing anyway, so oh yeah, something moved in. Oh. Yep, I'll keep you updated. I don't know if you guys can make this out, there's bats everywhere. Uh, they come right in close as well. <laughs> Crazy. But it's about half nine, nothing yet. But um, yeah, fingers crossed that might happen during the night. And if it does, I'll uh, keep it posted. I've not changed no rods. I put single bags out earlier on. I've left them. Be man to put a bit of bait in. And I'll get up early tomorrow. Nothing at Amazon put one rod over by that bait area. But yeah. That's it for now. Anything that happens, I'll, uh, I'll keep you posted. Morning guys, um, it's about half five in the morning, uh, nothing last night, very quiet, a couple of single bloops but nothing worth really excited about, it's um, yeah, it's pretty cold this morning, I uh, was shot by that to be fair, it was lovely yesterday, it's meant to be quite warm today but it's been quite breezy most of like, through the night and it's just, yeah, just come out to my cup of tea now and it's fairly cold. Um, 
I've not seen nothing show as of yet, um, but I've just made a cup to him, sort of sitting out here watching. I've seen his show and fish in my area, I'll chuck a solid bag on it. Today, I think the plan of action is going to be um, per uh, put a rig out in that bait spot done yesterday. Um, over by that little outlet pipe. And then maybe trying to get a bit closer to the island. Um, it's not that deep, the main island's about two foot. It comes off and drops out about four or five foot. I'm just trying to find that ledge if I can, maybe stick at the bottom of the ledge. <laughs> and give her uh, most spawn bit of bait out, not a lot. And uh, yeah, see how we get on. So I'm just going to drink a cup of tea. Keep on the water, see what I can see. But yeah, as of yet, yeah, there's nothing, nothing to report, but hopefully that'll change. Fingers crossed, eh? Good afternoon, uh, 12 o'clock, Saturday afternoon, um, no fish, nothing yet, but a couple of bleach, cut of knock, so I know there's a few fish in the area, but a couple of bosh out down to my left hand side this morning, but I did put a PVA bag on top of it, but nothing come of it, so um, I've just redone my rods, put me on my right hand rod, which is over towards the island, I've got on DNA baits, Wafter, PB. Apparently, yellow does quite well here, so I thought, I'd, you know, go for that. My left hand rod, which is on a Ronnie rig, I've got DNA baits, PB, pop up. So, what I'm doing when I'm sending them out, I'm putting that PVA bag, which I've already made up, which is I've got there. That's made up with chopped up, crushed up uh, DNA bug. And some crayfish pellet in there, so that's in there quite tight. Now what I'm doing there, I'm injecting that with I'll find a bottle of some smart liquid. The main line I've been injecting that into it as well. A bit more attraction. So um so yeah, I've just redone the rods. Um hopefully something might happen. Still a bit of a breeze pushing into my my corner, it's quite a cold wind. Hence why I'm still sitting here in the cone now, I'm still be chilling that wind in that shade, but um, yeah, fingers crossed, something happened. Still got a bit more time yet, but it's um, been nice to get a bite now, isn't it? So, see how we get on. Keep you posted.
Good evening, uh, about 20 past 8, um, been over 24 hours now, still no fish. Um, no signs of any fish down my end. Or the, the guy over the back, he's got about three, three or four fish now. Um, but he's what he's just fishing on it. The whole lake is a bit quiet, apart from that guy over there, he's having a few out. Um, but down here, I've been absolutely nothing, just keep going, putting pre more bait out, doing what I've got to do. Keep trying. We've got another just under 24 hours left, so hopefully, fingers crossed, one to go. Might be a blank, but um, you know, we're fishing, so ain't all bad. And if I don't get nothing during the night, I'll give you an update in the morning. Hopefully, I'll get a, get a fish during the evening, It'd be nice. But if not, I'll talk to you guys soon. guys <coughs> about half seven uh sunday morning still no fish um yeah so it looks like i'm staring down the uh, barrel of a blank um which is not good after after the last session out uh 24 hour nine gals out of 26 mirror first fish i have four fish in total um but yeah I'll, it, it could be just bad swing choice i'm not too sure to fair the wind has been pushing down here all weekend, so I thought this would be pucker would be ideal. The guy having four, he's got back in the swim, um, back in the lake. He he's been hauling. <laughs> he's had a few. He has had a few. And the guys up the other end of the lake on my side of the bank up the end, they've had a few as well. So they seem to be catching the back of the wind. Um, so it's the first time it's a lesson learned, really. Um, you know, if I turn up here again, it's quite windy and I'm not trying to get swimming on the back of the wind. But when I first turned up, it was, it looked, it looked great for a fish or two. And from like lovely, like marginal reeds, the island, and I thought, yeah, lovely, that'd do me. And I was a little corner, but, you know, yeah, swim choice, it could be my bad angle skill, I really don't know. When you're sort of not catching, you start questioning what you're doing. You now I'm using the right reeds, I'm using the right bait approach. <laughs> You know, I, I don't know, I don't know, but the rigs I'm using this time I used last time, I caught well on them, so I don't think it's my rigs. Um, I think it's just a bad, bad swing choice. Um, yeah, I'm here till, well, I'm going to be seven o'clock tonight, but I'll probably leave before that. Normally between sort of two and sort of five, anyway, nothing really happens, you're pretty dead, it's pretty hot by the time of day. I'll do the slow pack down today. Um... I thought confidence is gone. I'm, I'm not very confident on catching one before we go. Um, it, it gets you, doesn't it? It does get you. So you start overthinking things. <laughs> you know, it's good to be fishing. It's been nice. It's a lovely place. Um, it's Hartley Lands. It's a lovely, 
No, I can't fault the place. The toilets and the shower block are really nice. The lakes are well, well maintained, you know, all gravel swings, path going around. Um, and on Nick's day, they do supply you with a uh, unhooking mat, basing, and a net. So you ain't got to bring none there, but it's only on Nick's day. And there's about four or five lakes on here. Uh, you've got Bramley behind me. Uh, you've got Reservoir, you've got Pear Tree, you've got another little lake. Um, and Reservoir's got loads, loads of fish, of, like little fish. If you want to put Ben in your rod, it's probably good going there. But I chose this one, I got about 38. 37, 38 pound in there. There's a little video on their website where it explains good spots in each in each swim they're actually out in the water doing the depths from the island to where the drop offs are now which is pretty cool. Um it's all booked up through Swim Booker, which is another thing so you can look on there to see what's available and what ain't available. So um yeah, I mean it's, I'll come back here. Um I'd probably see what the wind is doing maybe fish on the back of it if i can get a peg there's 17 pegs on this lake they only uh they only let out 10 at a time no more than 10 anglers they give a bit of room um which is good uh yeah look if if i catch one obviously i'll, I'll do a video and show you but i'm not feeling confident so i'm probably going to sign out here and um yeah, sorry it hasn't been a active active one with fish we showing you fish but as fishing doesn't always happen like that. Sometimes you catch, sometimes you don't. That's why it's called fishing and not catching. <laughs> but yeah, I'm not gonna ramble on and bore you guys anymore. Uh thanks for watching. And um yeah, take it easy guys. After spending 36 hours in peg 16 and no fish, I had 12 hours of my session left, so I made a choice to move up two swims to peg 14, which had come available. And what I moved is paid off to be.
Lovely fault when you're playing, beautiful scales. Chuffed a bit, worked really hard for this one. Just shows the show, been in the right place for 10 minutes, he's better been in the wrong place. I knew enough 48 hours. But yeah, hopefully, we get another one. Check this is up. <coughs> Moved up peg 14, cut the guys. Left early on this morning, so I've come out and looked, see a couple of moves, so I thought, right, nothing I'm down here. So I thought, give it a try up here for a few hours, pets have it away. Moved up to 14. Just turn the camera around, put a bait uh, on the corner there. And one on the corner of the island over there. And sort of with, an, with an owl being out there. One on the right hand side ripped off. Yeah, right result. Beautiful, lovely little mirror. Not massive, but a blank saver, so I'm more than happy with that. Over the moon, I'm not blanked. Um, Put the back out, hopefully, might get another one, never know. Fingers crossed. But yeah, absolutely. A lot more lifted now. A lot more lifted. Um, I can't talk near enough to turn it in earlier. I thought nothing was happening, no point. It's a bit overcast today, not so hot, so it might get moving, feeding. So Where's that chance for another one? So yeah, but come on, result. Get you posted, anything else happens. Another one, this time the left hand rod on the uh, island just ripped off, part of an epic fight, did fight it quite hard, just going to quickly weigh it, okay. Twenty-six-six. I've got to take this thing off, so I'll do that in a second. Yeah. What a beauty. What an absolute beauty. Look at this. What a beautiful carp from any lake days. Beautiful, beautiful fish. I'll show you the other side. It's got some wicked scales on it. I think this thing weighs about three pounds, it'd be about 23 I think, but another 20. But look at the scale patterns on that, what a beautiful, beautiful fish. Again, you just go to show, but in the white place for an hour or so. Two fish, two pounds, so 20 minutes later, right? Yeah, about. What a beautiful, beautiful fish. Right, let's get it back. What a result, two fish, well worth the move. This one was off the uh, island rod, uh, which is on a PB, um, PB wafter. I can't believe it. Do you know, all that time in peg 16, nothing, 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 couldn't buy a bite. Moved out to peg 14, and two within an hour, crazy. But that's fishing, that's what I love about fishing. Uh, yeah, beautiful fish that was, absolutely lovely, 22 pound. By the time I took the sling off, it was 22 pound. It's very overcast, I said it earlier, but it's very overcast, I think that's helping, keep it tempted down a little bit. I've got to rob back out, so uh, you never know, might be a chance for another one. But you know, if not, more than happy, it's another 20. So, uh, glad I moved, so, so glad. You sit there and start questioning yourself, thinking, do I stay, do I go, do I just call it quits, what do I do? But there's other fish being caught around the lake, so it's just worth having a few hours up here, and I'm so glad I did now, so we'll keep going. I've got a bit more time, and uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. So far, things are good. Right, that's me done. Your 48 hours has come to an end. It's been tough, it's been really tough. Um, but yeah, fishing here, Nick's Lake on the Hartley Lands complex, lovely place, definitely come back. Uh, it's been tough, tough 48 hours, but the move swim this morning paid off with two fish, two lovely fish. Uh, so yeah, that's another adventure done. 
And uh, yeah, I found now she'll stay another night, everyone's gone, it's just crashing out everywhere, but gotta go. So um, yeah, thanks for watching guys. And hopefully I'll see you on the bank soon.